Hi everyone, it's your girl Regina coming to you with another video. If this is your first time joining me, welcome to my channel. I shoot DIY projects as well as cruise tip videos every single week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. In today's video, I wanted to show you guys how to sublimate the tumbler bags. I grabbed two of them off Amazon and I wanted to try them out. I have a cruise coming up. Um, in another week and I didn't want to be you know just walking around with my cup all the time just in my hand so I wanted to try out one of the tumbler bags so the first thing that I did was I tried it on my 15 by 15 heat press I recommend you not do it because what happens is it um, burns the it's I mean the bag is still usable but it burns the clips so I decided to you know just um, make a video showing you guys maybe it could save you guys some headache like i said the bag is for me but because i just bought a two pack i decided to redo the bag as well as do a video to show you guys how to do it even with the 15 by 15 it left a little bit of whitening on the side and it moved a little bit on this one um on this side with the ghosting so i decided to pull out my cricut easy press and give it a shot so what it, like I said, come in a two pack. I will link it in the description bar right off Amazon. Um, you want to take it out of the bag, take your straps out. Now I just gave it a little fold and then I'm gonna give it a lint roll and I'm gonna give it just a little press with my Cricut press. And then I'm gonna tape it on. Be careful with the straps, the clips I meant. Cause like I said, it, they burnt in my 15 by 15 so hopefully they won't do that with the Cricut Easy Press. So I just gave it a, a quick little press to, to, you know, get it a little flat. I'm going to go ahead and trim my design. I actually did the design um, four points. The width is 4.25 and the height is 7.0. I did it a little bit bigger because I wanted to make sure it sublimated all over the entire whiteness of the bag. So I'm gonna just lay it right there on top. I'm gonna to get my heat tape because I don't want it to move again. So I'm gonna make sure I tape it down really well this time. I'm actually going to flip it over and tape it all the way around just to make sure it's secure. You don't have to use this much cheap tape. It's just that I'm just doing it because I really don't want this design to move because like I said, this is a bag I'm taking with me on my cruise and either I'm going to take the one with the burnt clip. So I'm going to take this one because it came out right. I'm only going to take it all the way around at the top because I believe as long as that stay in place, we'll be in good shape. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to make sure my clips are not in the way this time. And I'm going to press it sideways. We're crossing our fingers on this one. And I got my press set at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. And I'm also applying pressure. Checking my clips. I'm hoping that when I move this one, it didn't move the design but we'll see i noticed that it's not burning the clips this time so the cricket easy press is probably going to be your best route or make sure if you're using a 15 by 15 press or some type of heat press that your um clamshell whether it's the clamshell or the swain press make sure your clips is hanging over i wish they came in metal 
or maybe they was able to detach while we pressed them, but they don't. Okay, so that's 60 seconds at 400 degrees. And I can see that my design sublimated. Uh, see right there at the top, while I was, you know, kind of skeptical about my clips, I can see a little whiteness, but that's okay. If that's all that's wrong with it, I'm fine with that. I guess after I do it a couple of more times, I'll really figure it out. And okay, so that sublimated well. Um, my OCD about the clips, I probably can bring it up just a little bit more so that I can get those top parts, but the bag itself sublimates really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and do the back side. And what I do with this, I just tucks it under. Just tuck that part under so that this the bottom part can be flat. Give it a lint roll. I'm gonna lay my design down. I'm gonna lay it a little bit higher this time. So maybe I can fully sublimate the whole white. Let me grab my tape. I got to get me one of those tape dispensers. I keep saying I'm going to get one, but I haven't gotten one yet. turn it this way this time just making sure I'm not burning the clips again okay yes see at the top this would go a whole lot easier if it was a way like a clip the the that these parts would come off with a clip like the handle but I guess not I think the main thing is just making sure that the top part gets sublimated the cup design actually had whiteness at the top. I probably should have left that part on the cup. That way I wouldn't have even had to worry about perfectly trying to sublimate the white part. And I'll show you what I'm talking about on the cup once this is done. But my actual cup design actually had whiteness right there at the top. So I should have left it with the little bubbles, but I wanted the design more. So hopefully, it look I didn't burn my clips, so that's a good thing. So that means I did do better than the first time I tried it. And I switched from the 15 by 15 to the Cricut Press. So overall, the second time that I did it, I didn't burn my clips. I still need to do a little bit more practice on getting it lined up right at the top. 
But overall, the bag sublimates really nice. It looks really good. I'm really happy with the second result. And like I said, it matches the tumbler. So now on my cruise, I don't have to like literally just hold my cup all the time. I actually can just slide it into the bag. And attach my clips. And I now can carry my tumbler instead of just holding it all the time. The little bit of white at the top is not <clears throat> a real biggie. Like I said, this, this is only the second time I tried it. The first time I tried it with the Cricut um, Easy Press. I'm super excited. It came out really well. I definitely will leave the um, link in the description bar so you can grab you a couple of these and try them out. Um, I'm super happy with the results. This was a good sublimation bag from Amazon. So, uh, thank you guys for watching another one of my videos and I will see you next time when I show you guys how to sublimate and assemble an iPhone, um, band. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next video.